Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reina. If you're new here, then welcome. As you may be able to tell, I'm doing another Australian drugstore affordable sunscreen reviews for you today. I've tested out another eight products and this time I've included some chemical ones and some mineral ones together. I just haven't got enough to categorize into two videos yet. I've purchased a few more mineral sunscreen which are recommended um, by you guys. I really really keen to try them out but I haven't received them yet and I've gone ahead and purchased a few more chemical ones during the sales so there are gonna be more videos coming up hopefully I'll say maybe 2021 I can't even believe I'm saying this we're almost finished this year but yeah I'll rank them from my least a favorite to my favorite like always and I've done a couple of videos this is my fourth one so I have the whole um, playlist to leave up above and down below and my criteria will be in the very first review video with that Without further ado, let's just dive into it and don't forget if you like today's content, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments down below. I'm always on a hunt trying the next best sunscreen. I'm refreshing myself and I'm trying to find a better, better version for you guys that is very affordable and that's in Australia. Okay, let's just dive into the video, shall we? I'll come in number 8, which is my least favorite. Cancer Console Face Day Wear Moisturizing Matte in the Light Tint Version. If you know my favorite, which is this one here, these two looking awfully similar. But the difference is this one says light tint here, where this is a invisible. So both of these giving a matte, matte finish, which I like on certain days, just wear it by itself or mix with a foundation as a mattifying primer. Um, the problem with this one is when you squeeze it out, it actually comes within a grayish color and then the tint will show as you are massaging it onto your skin. So it reminds me of the L'Oreal Magic BB Cream a while back. It used to be my favorite. Like it doesn't have the color, but once you are blending it onto your skin, you start to see the color show through. The problem is this color. So once the tinted color appears, it pretty much settles immediately. So you can't move around and if if you do move, it got patchy and it literally peels. So on the first day I applied it, just like how I applied my favorite one, I just squeeze a fair amount on my hands and I'm just rubbing and as I was rubbing it, I realized some of the areas start having the color and the rest is still taking its time to get evenly onto my skin. So that's not working and I finally figured out a way of using it, although I still don't recommend, is you only apply maybe a quarter or maybe one third of the regular amount, quickly get a even layer on your skin and then just adding repeat the process again again to the regular amount that, that you would use with other sunscreens then that way you have the color payoff and you don't get patchy and it works as a normal sunscreen I don't really like the whole idea of the tint since it has no coverage and the whole application process is such a difficult long process that I wouldn't use this if I'm on a go say in the morning taking my sister to school I have no time for this so I don't recommend and they do also have a BB cream version so what's the point of having this tinted one number seven and number six there's a tie over here both of these are actually applying pretty good on the skin but they all have like one major issue that I wouldn't say recommend for everyone so let's just talk about each of these let's go for the Suking Sun Care first this is a sheer touch facial sunscreen SPF 30 and this is a pure mineral sunscreen and this is their untinted version I've got their tinted version here as well and I've um, reviewed this in my mineral sunscreen review I sort of put this in the middle range and I feel like this is very similar as well for a untinted mineral sunscreen it doesn't leave any cast and that is actually quite amazing and it comes within a quite I'll say lotion-y texture it's not very thick and you blend it on your skin you feel like it's quite moisturizing and it gives you a quite sheer finish if you apply it a lot, it definitely adds up that glow. It can tend to be look a tiny bit of greasy, but if you just control the right amount of it, it's actually okay. Um, the thing I really don't like about this is the scent of this one. I mentioned in these videos, like I can smell it right now. It's such a strong metal chemical scent that I would like to avoid if I can. However, if you can get through the first 10 minutes of this scent, the rest of the day is absolutely fine. You won't notice it throughout the day. 
say. If you ask me to choose between the tinted version and the untinted one, I actually more prefer the untinted one because the tinted version wasn't giving me much of a coverage, rather just the tint and I thought it was used to balance out the white cast, but I don't notice any white cast with the untinted one. The Sorry. other one that in the same category is another cancer console product is their moisturizing sunscreen SPF 50 plus. I have to give a shout out on the small package first. For someone like me constantly reviewing sunscreens, I wanted to go for a trouble size or mini size if I can so I can just tell you how I feel and to be honest if you are someone just a regular customer trying out some of the sunscreen you might want to go for the smaller version too just to see if you like it and even for my personal um, liking I still have like matte finish sheer finish this and that for different uh, purposes so I wouldn't like to keep a lot of the big bottles before they gone expired so I really like they come up with all their little trouble size which within a 35 mil um, it gives you a good few times of usage if you are just applying to your face. Alright, let's back to the sunscreen. This one it says with aloe vera and vitamin E that gives this really moisturizing lotion feel. That's exactly how I feel about this one. It comes with this really runny texture lotion. It's almost like a moisturizer and um, plus a good SPF value. But the problem is also because the moisturization level, it can add this sort of greasy feeling. I feel this one is on the borderline between very shine glowy to greasy and oily. I don't like to use it by itself. I definitely need to go with makeup and it works perfectly fine. Almost like a hydrating primer. I'll say if you have a dry skin always looking for something quite moisturizing non-drying it can be a really good sunscreen but for me I've got normal to combination I think it's a little bit too much to use it by itself and this one comes with a scent as well is the aloe vera scent that you smell from a lot of the aloe vera gel after sun gel if you are sensitive to the fragrance maybe stay away from this because cancer console do have better ones and they are fragrance free versions Coming in number four and five in the next category, I've got two BB cream slash tinted sunscreen. And I have one from Cancer Console is a chemical sunscreen and one from Invisible Zinc is their um, mineral tinted virgin sunscreen. Let's go for the BB cream one because I just talked about their tinted version. So if you look at the name on this one, it says it's a face day wear BB cream light tint with a matte finish. It's almost identical to the one that I just mentioned. I don't know why they have two, but if you're wanting to try one with a bit of tint and with a bit of coverage, definitely go for the BB cream. This is way better. All their tinted version comes with two or three shades. I've got in the color light, both of them. This has a better color in terms of color matching and how the color appears on the skin. It doesn't take time to show. You pretty much see the color straight away. And it has a light coverage, like a proper light coverage. It really works like a BB cream, but with a good SPF value. This is the one that I would say I can use it on the go. It sort of reminds me of my favorite tinted virgin sunscreen, the mineral ones from Polar's Choice SPF 30. This is a chemical version. The other tinted one is from Invisible Zinc Tinted Day Wear Mineral Shield SPF 30 light. If I have to rave, I think it's way better than the Sukin one. First of all, it has a similar scent but less aggressive. Like I don't remember noticing it when I applied on my face, but when I was sniffing it just before recording, I do notice the same scent. I guess it's all coming from zinc oxide. It is such a runny texture. And the from Invisible Zinc, the other two that I tried before was giving me such a hard time that I really didn't want it to try. But so many of you guys recommended this, asking me to review this. Here I am and I'm really liking it. It comes with an even runnier texture compared to the Cancer Console BB Cream, which just provides you a quick application and absorption. I really like this to be used on the go. Although I have to say it comes with this sheer finish as well. They're almost like a bit of glowy finish from Australian drugstore sunscreen category from a mineral sunscreen I really think this is a really good one if you're looking for alternative for the Polar's Choice sunscreen um, mineral version it will be the invisible zinc and chemical version will be the cancer console finish wise cancer console is more close to it this one has a bit more sheer but I really do think these two are some really good ones from the Australian drugstore that you can just purchase from the chemist and the last but not the least, I've got three in the same category, which they're all claiming to have a dry touch finish. So the difference between dry touch finish and a matte finish to me is 
they both feel like quite dry, like you don't notice much, you don't notice that heckiness feeling, but matte finish by the appearances of it, there's no glow showing through, where a dry touch can still give you a bit of like ultra sheer glow. Speaking of these, Ray, um, let's talk about the Banana Boat first. This is the Dry Balance Very High Protective Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus. This one, I believe, is supposed to be used on a body, but I couldn't find anywhere it says if it's for a body or body and face. So I tried both areas and I have to say, I hate it for the face, but I love it for the body. It's come within a 175ml bottle, so this one, if you use it on the whole body, arms and legs, I feel it can give you at least two usage, so that's actually quite decent size. The lotion texture makes it quite easy to be spread out on your arms and legs, like large body areas, and it says it has a soft matte finish. i probably say it's got a satin or sheer finish. It's definitely not matte, but I noticed the soft, and it gives a very, like, typical banana boat scent, like sweet candy-ish scent, so if you are someone sort of sensitive to fragrance, considering you're applying it all around your arms and legs, like huge body areas, you probably will notice the scent, so maybe think twice before you get go ahead for this one. And also feels very soft, like a body lotion slash sunscreen, which is perfect for summertime when you don't want to just lather like 10,000 layers of skincare on your body. But what happens on my face is when I applied it, it peels right off, particularly around my hairline, and then it doesn't work with any of the foundation or anything that I applied afterwards. For the body, I do recommend it. I can see myself taking this one with me. However, if you are looking for a sunscreen that I can use both on the body and the face, the Keratin Kids sunscreen is really good and that one's a fragrance-free version as well. So maybe just check that one out. But I've got another two coming. Let's talk about this one. This is a Neutrogena Ultra Share Dry Touch Sunscreen Lotion SPF 50 Plus. I remember loving this, but I completely forgot this product when I was starting doing the review. I remember we used our bottles of this when we go on Dream World during the Christmas time, so that would be at least two years ago. This one can be used on body as well as on the face, and it works perfectly for both body and face. It dries pretty quick. It actually gives a tiny bit of brightening effect, but not too much. So you wouldn't notice as a white cast, but I'll say probably lighten, like brightening up your skin tone a little bit. So if you are having a really dark skin tone, you might dislike that because after you're applying such a big area, the area that you were not applied or not evenly applied, you might notice a color difference. But apart from that, it's really good. However, it also contains fragrance. So if you are fragrance sensitive, like I said, maybe try the keratin one. It gives this ultra sheer finish like the name claims like a teeny tiny bit of sheer finish which I actually really like particularly on my body you know when I'm walking outside I want to feel my skin is giving this healthy glow so I really enjoyed this one and the very last one in today's video is another cancer console product this is their active sunscreen this claims to be dry touch fast absorbing lotion for an active on the go outdoor lifestyle. It has SPF 50 plus as well. I have to say it is actually everything it claims. It absorbs quickly, feels like a light moisturizer, definitely not as moisturizing as their um, purple, not purple, what this color is, green-ish color. I was really impressed when I used it on my first day. It really does everything it claims to be and it's quite an affordable price as well. If you ask me one complaint about this product, I'll say the dry touch it takes a little while to get to the completely dry finish. Well, the Neutrogena one was like immediately dry. Banana bar sort of in between because they also leave that soft finish. And this one takes the longest time to actually to get to a full dry touch finish. But I'll say I'm really happy with it. This is the only thing that I can think of after comparing three similar products. So yeah, that is everything for today's review. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll say this is actually quite a successful ranking and review. And if you like today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribe to my channel. Like I said, there are more sunscreen videos coming and there are a lot of mineral sunscreen that I purchased from Priceline Chemist Warehouse, which are very affordable, easy access in Australia. So if you don't want to miss out any future videos, 
videos, please consider subscribe my channel. And I hope you all have had a great day. Let's stay safe and stay positive. Enjoy some sunshine with some good sunscreens. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.